PEPMED is a very uh, interesting study that um, started out as a four cohort study for specifically for papillary renal cell carcinoma. Um, this is premised on the fact that um, type one papillary kidney cancers uh, tend to have alterations in the MET oncogene. Um, and so uh, two of the um, four uh, treatment cohorts were treated specifically um, with MET inhibitors. Um, so with savalitinib and crizotinib. Um, and then uh, the third treatment cohort was cabozantinib, which has both VEGF um, receptor activity as well as MET inhibition. Uh, and they were all compared to the control cohort of sunitinib alone. Um, in papillary renal cell carcinoma, based on the ESPN and ASPEN studies, uh, sunitinib had been um, the standard of care uh, for these particular patients um, for a number of years. Um, this uh, PATMET study was uh, specifically looking at papillary renal cell carcinoma, and this is the first randomized study that's dedicated um, to this cohort of uh, rare uh, but uh, non-clear cell kidney cancers. Um, and so uh, what we saw um, was that cabozantinib improved uh, the median progression-free survival when compared to sunitinib in this setting. At an interim analysis, um, there were two cohorts of the study um, that were dropped um, the savalitinib and crizotinib cohorts because uh, of uh, lack of efficacy compared to sunitinib. Um, and the final analysis was really between uh, the cabozantinib treated patients as well as the sunitinib treated patients. Um, and what we saw was that uh, patients treated with cabozantinib had improved median progression-free survival when compared with patients treated with sunitinib. So based on this study, I think cabozantinib certainly has gained the um, uh, its recognition as the uh, standard of care treatment option for patients with papillary renal cell carcinoma. Um, and based on this, uh, the, the study uh, simultaneous um, with the GUASCO presentation uh, was published in The Lancet. Um, so kudos um, to my colleagues and um, all the patients who participated on the PATMET study and helped us learn about this very important uh, non-clear cell kidney cancer uh, disease type.